And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Miss Lloyd. Weren't we impressed with uh, last week's uh, oh, pictures? Absolutely fantastic, the pictures I've seen of what everyone's made, and they've made various ones, a lot of sweet and savoury ones. So it was really nice to see what they've done. We still actually got pancakes still coming from, oh, from the new one. But oh, if you've right. noticed, guys, we have um, we've increased the challenge each week, haven't we? We, have. we started off with light, fluffy pancakes. And then last week we moved on to um, the uh, pinwheel stones. stones. That was quite technical. And now we're getting really technical because this week we're not just doing one recipe. Oh no, not doing two recipes, but we're actually doing three recipes. Hence why we're joined by Vice Principal Mr. Walker. Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Who's very talented by the way. He cooked um, his son's birthday cake this weekend. Um, so uh, much, much better than, uh, than I am. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we've got three recipes. Now, uh, the base mixture is the same, is that correct? It is, yes. Brilliant. It's much easier to do the same recipe, but the fact that you can do different things with it. The so, thing. I'm going to do a tray bake today. So, I'm doing one cake and I'm flavouring it with chocolate over the top. Brilliant. Uh, you, sir, are doing S a traditional... Sponge, sponge. Victoria sponge cake with cream and jam in the middle. With cream and, and jam, my favourite. Is doing fairy cakes with buttercream on top and a little heart because it's Valentine's Day coming up. And that's the key. The theme, uh, learners, is Valentine's. It's uh, next Monday, I think it is, isn't it? I think so. 14th. And so um, I've got my heart baked tray. We've got little chocolate hearts. So um, the, the blemishing, is, if that's the right word, can be um, can be anything really, can't yes. it? So okay. it's up to you to decorate it how you want. Brilliant. So, shall we get going then, Miss Lloyd? Right, we've all got different amounts of ingredients. Yeah. Right, so it's got the biggest amount. He's got the 200 gram recipe with four eggs. I've got the three, oh, two, uh, 150 gram recipe with three eggs. And so has got the 100 gram recipe with two eggs. So we're going to start with by putting our butter in the bowl. Brilliant, butter nice. in the bowl. And we've got uh, block butter, but we're going to soften it. It's been out of the fridge and we're going to soften it down first of all. Yeah. We'll add it. And it is a bit of effort to start off just to get it start to soften. Yeah. So right, is, is this something that you can use a microwave for? Or? No, no, I don't. Um, it's much easier to use the one that comes in tubs. This is where I would use my dream in tubs. Yeah. Right? But once you've started, if you look, sir, yeah. you can actually get it moving quite quickly. And yeah. once you've softened it, then if you add your sugar, yeah. right? The secret is you've got to be quite ferocious with this. Yep. Yeah. I've got the seats sort of coming together. Right, and we use the back of the spoon up yeah. the side of the vault to start getting it combined. Yeah. Right, I have already greased the trays yeah. and I have turned the oven on ready to go because I want the ovens nice and warm for when we get them in. As always, make sure you've got some parental uh, supervision, so hot ovens. But yeah, it always helps if you do the prep work, so we always measure our ingredients right. before we start. So I'd add the sugar in there. Okay. So right, and I've got my sugar in and I'm giving it a good mix now. This is where you need to use quite a lot of energy. Just remind us how much sugar we've got in here. You've got... 200 grams. 200 grams. And don't worry, all these ingredients uh, will be available before and after the show. So 200 grams of sugar, now going into my bowl. Carry on, oh, give yeah. it a mix. You're going to get a really good mix. It's a really good workout for your arms if I'm wrong. Yeah. On it. Yeah. And you're looking for it to go pale and quite fluffy. Oh, right, okay. So it'll take a bit of work in. So uh, we're being ably assisted today by TJ in year 10, who is our cameraman. You all right, TJ? Give us a nod. Yeah, all right. Yeah, excellent. And uh, Mr. Walker, let's see how fluffy yours is looking. Mine's not going too bad. Okay, very good. Yeah. Oh, actually, you're doing quite well there, sir. Come on, my best, sir. The, the fairy cake is I need a bit of elbow grease to get it. Stop. Can I ask you, Miss, what got, what got you into cooking? Me? Yeah, so was, was there a pivotal moment in your life or influence? If I'm honest, uh, my parents let me cook. Yes. And also I was quite awkward and became vegetarian at the age of 11. Really? Yeah, so my parents weren't the greatest cook and my mother used to be the Aduki casserole so I used to then start cooking my own recipes to avoid eating hers. <laughs> Brilliant. Right? Yeah, I was a vegetarian for 11 years, but did you know about it, I didn't know. Yeah, and then I tried my first kebab. <laughs> There's no going back. Right, so once you've got it neat, really nice and light and fluffy, you can then add your eggs. Is that fluffy enough? Not bad, sir. That's your so if you just take a lot there, TJ, you can see we've, it's, it's getting there. So I'm just going to add my eggs to give it a little bit more moisture. 
So I'm an expert at this cracking eggs. Yeah. There we go. One. How many are we putting in this? You're putting all the eggs inside. All of them. So and then you're just going to put a quick mix just to start it off. So four eggs going in. Obviously, if we've got an electric whisk, it would probably help. Um, oh, that's cheating, sir. It is cheating. This is, this is the more elbow grease way of doing things. There we go. Four eggs gone in. And back to the wooden spoon. A good old trusted wooden spoon. How are you getting on there, Mr. Walker? Doing okay, sir. Enjoying myself. Oh, yeah, it's looking. I've got a little bit of an eggshell in, but don't worry. That's bad enough, bad enough. It's a bit of calcium. Yeah. What do you think? Going well? Yeah, going great. Fab. I'll pay you later till you go on. Another flour in two sections. Right, so flour in two sections, so you mean half and half later? Yes, please. Yeah. So just getting my flour in, so uh, if you didn't hear Miss Lloyd then, she says put it in two sections, and by that I think she means you put half, half, half. in. And then just makes it easier to incorporate. Just going to mix it and then put the other half in in a moment. There we go. Mm, looks like you're ahead of the game there, Miss. That's it. And it looks quite nice now. Yeah, it's coming together. So I'm just going to add the rest of my flour. Brilliant. So, do you do a lot of cooking at home, Mr. Darby? Um, well, to be honest, the most I've cooked is since I've been doing these cooking lessons with Miss Lloyd. Um, so every week, um, after I've done a recipe, I always go home and then I do it again with the kids at the weekend. It's a great activity. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to use it as my Wellbeing Wednesday activity this week. So I think I might take um, an early day and uh, go home and... Uh, do a bit of homeschooling and we'll do a cooking lesson. So I think I might go for a Victoria sponge. Although well, your tray bake's looking quite nice, Miss. I've got mine in the tin. What I've done is just use the spatula just to level it off. And yeah. I've taken as much mixture as I can out of the bowl. Amazing. And then it can go in the oven. I'll just wait for you to catch up so we're going to move it together. So. Fabulous. So what I'm going to do, TJ, or the audience at home, I'm going to grab my bowl and really get in there. Give it a good stir. That's it. See those little bubbles coming out there. There we go. Oh, sir, it looks like he's got chocolate in his. What have you put in that then, sir? Uh, so there is a combination of, I think, cocoa, um, so like chocolate powder, and uh, the eggs and the sugar, which is combined, I think, for all the two of them. Um, he's yeah. got 25 grams of cocoa and 75 grams of flour. In the two hundred well, the hundred gram two extra mixed recipe. I think I might need a drop of milk in that maybe. You might. Cocoa powder has this sort of quality. Yes. So if you open the fridge your milk's in there, you can just put a drop in if you want to loosen it up and cook it. it. How are you doing? I've just, just been caught trying to lick uh, my finger then but I've actually got it on my visor. You get told off if you're in my lesson, so. Yeah, so right, that looks lovely. What you need to do now is scrape the mixture down and divide it in two things. Smooth enough? Yep, yeah. yeah. excellent. So, can you can have a quick look at this. You can see it's quite smooth, sort of drips off the spoon. There we go. And so, I've got my Valentine's themed heart shaped tins. And so, I'm going to try and halve the mixture so I get one half. Hi, Miss Oakley, you alright? Uh, it's got one half of the mixture in this bowl. Note, I've already, uh, Miss Lloyd has actually, uh, already put in the grease proof, proof paper. Just a bit of prep before you start. So I'm just going to put a spoon in each tin. One tin there, one tin there. Brilliant. Another one in there. And then do I just spread it around, do I miss? Yeah. It would be easier actually using the spatula because it will ah. make sure you get the stuff off the side of the bowls. Right. I knew that would have something. So we use a good old spatula. There we go. Just don't want to waste any. 
See, my favourite bit actually is licking the bowl afterwards, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that no, on no. camera. Sorry. I'm sure you take another drink or hot spots and cake from in every little bowl, so yeah. I'm that's something to say for home. Definitely not. Yeah, you can and do it at home. Obviously, I'll never know what they're doing with I'm. No, of course not. Nope. There we go. So if you're thinking of taking on hospitality and catering next year, don't forget, year nine, so you've got your options coming up. In fact, this week, we're putting out a questionnaire as to what subjects you'd like to do. That will give us a good indication as to what subjects we're planning on offering next year. So, uh, yeah, make sure you do that. And obviously, hospitality and catering is one of those options on there. So, I think I've scrubbed that. I'm going to save that for a bit later. Do you mind if I uh, keep fine. that so I can lick it later? And then Don't spread it from the middle out. From the middle out. Otherwise, it will lift up like that. Yeah. Let me have a go at one. Oh, yes, yeah. You show the audience how it's done. I'm just going to wash my hands. All I'm doing is just treating it and following it. So, I'm just pushing from the middle out. Just to make sure the base is covered. Beautiful. And I'm not licking my finger either, so no. please note. Very as tempting as it is, avoid doing it. That would be hygienic. Actually, I don't like cake mix either. Okay. Right. So again, I'm using my finger just to knock a bit off the spoon. Bouncing a bit just to level them up, and then they will be going in the oven. Brilliant. Remember, you need to have adult supervision and make sure you're using oven gloves or something that's suitable to put them in and out of the oven so you don't burn your fingers. So let's just remind, I'm just going to step back a little bit. Me. So, um, Gas Mark 180, Gas oh. Mark 4. Gas Mark 4 or 180, um, and all, all, you know, always try and pre your oven. So you can do that before you start putting your mixture together. And then, then hopefully, 20 25 minutes they should cook. 20 25 minutes they should cook. Let's see how Mr. Walker's getting on. Oh, looking good, sir. Trying to do it as neat as possible, oh. sir, because I know I'm being observed by Miss, so I uh, don't want to make a mistake here. Yeah, of course not. I feel like the pressure's on. In fact, you know, one of the things that people at home probably can't see or smell even is, is the aroma that's coming from uh, the cocoa powder. It smells <laughs> beautiful. Fabulous. Very good, yeah. I was thinking that there's a lot of pressure here, isn't there, sir? We've yeah. Got a, we're, uh, we're in competition with ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Darnley? We are indeed. I'm, I'm worried about this little uh, device here. Seems oh, to suggest we're going to be doing some piping a bit later on. Yeah. I think we're going to reserve that for you, sir, because I know you've got a steady hand and a keen eye. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think Mr. Logan might be leading the way. Oh, no, sir. I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job. So, excellent. So, well, we're going to put those now straight in the oven as well. Is yes. that right? And they'll take. About 20 minutes, no longer. Okay, so... I'll take the quickest time because they're smaller. Yeah. So the bigger they are, the longer they'll take. Okay, so yours will be doing first. Uh, so just a quick recap then, Miss. Give us the base mixture again in terms of the quantities, if you can remember right. them all. So for fairy cakes, it's 100 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of margarine or butter, 100 grams of sugar and two eggs. Oh, that's nice and easy. 100, right. 100, 100, 2 eggs. Oh, but it works the same. So for the cake right. bake, I've used 150 grams of flour, 150 grams of butter, 150 grams of sugar, and 3 eggs. Okay. And for your serve, which is the two cakes together with the biggest tins, you've got 2 grams of flour, 2 grams of sugar, 200 grams of margarine or butter, and 4 eggs. Could it be any easier? So it's either 100 grams of the same ingredients for the fairy cakes, 150 for the tray bakes and 200 for the cake teas. Brilliant. So join us back in uh, a few short minutes and we'll uh, see how the cakes are getting on. So whilst the cakes are um, getting ready in the oven and I can see that they are rising perfectly, just no, the way we like it, a few minutes away, we're going to do a bit of the mixtures and the, the, decoration. the decoration, that was the word I was looking for, uh, while we're waiting. So, Miss Lloyd, do you get to what you're doing? All I'm doing is actually melting chocolate just to go over the top of mine. So, I'm actually, all I'm going to do is I've got some dark chocolate here, 200 grams of dark chocolate, and I've actually got white as well. I'm going to put them in the microwave if I'm honest, and check them every 20 seconds on the medium heat yeah. to get them to a runny consistency. Lovely. And in case you haven't got a microwave, a bowl of water yeah, with glass a bowl. glass bowl over the top, yeah. An inch of water in the bottom yeah. of your saucepan, put that over the top, and that's actually an easy way to do it. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, me, guys, I am using Tesco's Finest Double Cream, um, and I'm going to pour that into my bowl, and I'm going to put it all in. Now, 
This is actually more uh, difficult than you think because the texture has to be just right. So it's important that you don't over whisk it, but equally you don't want to under whisk it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar. Um, what sugar is this? Um, caster sugar, miss? Icing sugar. Icing sugar. So I'm just going to uh, add a little bit of icing sugar to give the cream a little bit of sweetness. And then I'm going to use uh, this little device here called an electric whisk. Uh, Right, sir, make sure that you only operate when it's in the bowl. Yep. Oh, sorry. Right, sir, I'm going to now... Put it yeah. in. Turn it on. Whoa, look at that! The icing sugar just been the slowest. Is it? piping bag to go on top of my fairy cake. So what I've got are some lovely little decorations which I can put on top of them. So you can see that there. So that's what I'm doing at this moment in time. So you're just going to mix the icing sugar in very slightly in. So if you just use one spoon and just add the icing to go a little bit at a time and just put it in it and add a little bit. Like just a little bit. That much? Yeah. Perfect. Half off like jam to the oil and then we'll put a little plate. And if you need to, you can put a tablespoon of milk and butter into any more than that. Wow. And you want proper butter with a block butter. Right, because it's the only one that's really great for proper butter. Lovely. So if you hear that, guys, I'm adding this in. This icing sugar in a little bit at a time so that it incorporates into the butter that we've got here to make the butter cream. Right, we'll come back when we take some of the milk. Thank you, Miss. Still waiting, I can see it slowly thickening. It takes a good few minutes. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you can do this without a whisk, can you, this way? With a hand whisk, yeah. So you can do it. Obviously, if you've got one of these electric whisks, it makes the whole thing a lot quicker. Get into that sort of uh, consistency, nice and thick. I'll just get this Lloyd to come over and, and check it to see if it's okay. Have you stuck in me? thickened. I might go around the outside just once more with electric whisk, but you don't want it any thicker than that. So you want it to be able to put on top of the cake and keep it the outside. Once. Right, perfect, sir. Right, and I've melted my chocolate, but the first one melted so the white one will melt. So I've done it in 20 second bursts and I've checked it every time, just stirred it, just to get a nice smooth consistency. It's very easy to burn chocolate, right? But if you just stand by the microwave, don't leave it and do it in 20 second bursts at medium temperature, about 50% of your microwave power, it should melt and look beautiful like this. So the cream, it should be so thick. Is this when you do the test when you take it down the stick? You can do, sir. So it's right over your head, miss. Over mine, I get it. It lands on the head. Right, here we go. Hey! Perfect! There you it's go, very well. nice and thick, that's how thick it should be. Right, right don't try that at home. Cake, sir. Okay, right, so let's have a look. Oh, they're looking good. Oh, right. wow. I've got a skewer, and all I'm going to do to check if they're cooked, I'm going to put it in the middle. If I put it out and it comes back to them like this has, I know that cake's cooked. Yeah. So I can put it to the side. 
So what are you looking for when you put the skewer in? It comes out clean. Okay. If it comes with mixture on it, it yeah. means it's not cooked into the back of the oven for a few Brilliant. minutes. So if it's a little bit gooey, leave it, put it back in. Well, that was around 20 minutes. Yes. Yep. Probably about 22, 23 minutes. Brilliant, fantastic. So, right. what's next then? Right, well we need to actually wait for these cakes to go totally cold yeah. before we can decorate them. Yeah. Especially with cream. Chocolate's a little bit more forgiving, yeah. but buttercream and cream both will just melt. So we need to stop the camera for about 20 minutes, wait for them to cool down, and then we'll come back to you and we'll show you how the final, well, put the final decorations on. Fantastic, so pause the video now if you're at home baking and cooking along with us. And uh, what we're going to do, just wait, as Miss Lloyd has said, that, you know, in, in, for this cream to really stick, it needs to be totally cool. So we'll come back when it's nice and cold, and we'll put the icing on. But just before we do, let's go over to Mr. Uh, Mr. Walker, who uh, seems to be... Uh, I'm trying to avoid making myself look like Casper, sir. Oh, okay. I think it's an easy thing to do with the icing sugar, so I'm just gently adding it, like Miss Lloyd said, to make sure that it doesn't go everywhere and to make sure that it blends in with the butter that we've got. Might I say, that was a very brave decision of you to put that cream over Miss Lloyd's head. I know, I could have gone horribly wrong. It's very me. lucky. And we didn't, we didn't practice that, it was just a... And also, I'm And please don't do it at home, man. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I wouldn't do it near Miss Lloyd because she might have a rolling pin next to her next time, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was a one off. <laughs> we'll begin that again. Brilliant. So let's just wait for the cakes to cool down and then uh, join us again uh, to learn how to apply the, uh, the decoration. Welcome back. So um, whilst you were gone, um, Miss Lloyd has beautifully decorated her bake tray. Can we, have a, can we uh, show the camera? So uh, we can see there, and when we had to put the chocolate on because it was going to... It's like it was solidifying. It what was I've solidifying. done is just put the dark chocolate over, drizzled the white chocolate and then sort of used the end of a teaspoon or a, what's it called, the spiky thing? Skewer. Skewer, thank you. And then whirled it round and then I've just sprinkled some sort of heart-shaped chocolates on and some sprinkly things. Look at those hearts there, so... Definitely on the theme of Valentine's. Excellent. Let's go and check on uh, how Mr. Walker is getting on. And the progress is he's oh, we've got a little whipped cream going on in here. Well, it's, it's a buttercream, isn't it? So I've been uh, yeah. under uh, instruction to do this as a one handed operation, and apparently it goes quite easily. So we'll see what I can do here. Testing live. Oh. 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 This is the beauty, of, this is the beauty of doing it live, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely. It's not, not bad at all. So, let's see if we can do that one better. That's a better there one. Yeah, That's a better one. So, so yeah. buttercream goes into the piping bag. Miss Lloyd, and then a little heart. We don't have a piping bag at home. Is there a substitute? Can we use You could just use two teaspoons and just put a spoonful on. There we go. Okay, so it's not an absolute essential that you've got to have a piping bag. Teaspoon would do. I wonder if they're little freezer bags and you shouldn't be through them. You can, but some of them are quite weak. You need quite a good sort of solid one so it's sort of yeah. stuck together. Right. Lovely. So then we come on to the, 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 the key. Ooh. Yeah, look at this one. So these come out of the oven and look at these beautiful nice shaped parts. That's Wait, the top. The this is the bottom. Yeah, if you just put a couple of teaspoons of jam on there, so spread it out. Okay. So, so any jam will do. So this one yeah. is mostly raspberry jam. Yeah, courtesy of my garden. Um, so straight from Miss Lloyd's garden. And then I'm just going to spread oh, the jam. Yeah. Is that, can I use all of them? Yes. Well, I've brought them for one in because I know they're not. No, leaking the spoon, Mr. Darling. No, no. He's not leaking the spoon, he's always best behaviour today. Absolutely, as always. I think I was chat earlier to solve that problem. Yes, yeah. indeed. Never happen again, Miss Lewis. Oh, I know. Okay, so again, just going to bring it to the edges. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. So that's work middle out. Middle out. out. There we go. Well, all the edges. Middle. Come on. Middle out. There we go. Nice, and then in cream, again, put the cream in the middle and work it out. Do you want to clean the spatula? Thank you very much. So, in the middle. Now, I did put this cream in the fridge just to help it set a bit more. 
Right, more in the middle. More in the middle. I'm just going to use the tape actually to push it down. More. A little bit. Do you want to make I mean, and I've just put a little bit there. Yeah. I might have quite a lot of cream left over. A little less ooh, than ooh, that. Ooh, ooh. Okay. And then just spread it, yeah. And then we're just gently, beautiful. If we then put the top on the cake. Wow, look at that. Right. And then if you would just a little sieve, if a bigger one or a little one, yeah. right, you can then just go over and that's just a traditional Victoria sponge. Wow. That's and that's fantastic. how I'd leave it. You amazing. can decorate with strawberries, but at the moment strawberries seem to be quite challenging to get in the Look at that, isn't that amazing? Thank you, Miss Louie. I think I clearly am the winner today, aren't I? <sighs> Should we have a little vote? Why don't we have a little vote on our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter? Uh, so why don't you choose which one, I know you can't taste them, uh, but, but which one look the nicest of all? Very impressive. And Mr Walker has added some hearts little chocolate hearts on the top as well. So we've got the bed tray, we've got the uh, muffins, the cakes, the fairy cakes, and we've got the traditional Victoria sponge. Right, well I'll start and I'll go with Sir. Yeah. I think the hearts, this wins it because it's quite a nice simplistic design. I think yeah. I've got a little OTT with mine, but... I, I was going to go with yours actually, I quite like the okay. colour. I'm, I'm a colourful person. What about you Mr Walker? I like them all. I like the cream in that sir. Yeah, it looks pretty good. My cream or your cream? Yours. My cream. Brilliant. Fantastic. Well, see what you think. Most importantly, send us pictures of your cakes and let's have a look at what you've made. We'll put them on social media. Anyone that we get in gets an email. It. Thank you ever so much again, Miss Lloyd, for no, your hard you. work. I, I, I think that the, the reviews that we're getting is that the parents and the learners absolutely love these it's sessions. It's lovely to see what we're making. It is. It's just a shame that we're not making it here. I'm I know, sure indeed. We'll resume that as soon as we can. That's fantastic. Um, and what we do next week, or do we not know yet? We don't know. We don't know. No, I think we're going to have to chat about what we're going to do. We'll put it, down, we'll we'll put it down to a little vote, a vote to, to our learners again. It's see, good. See what happens. But yeah, um, but let's let's keep it at this sort of level. I, I don't think anything more advanced than this at this moment in time would be very good for my blood pressure. But <laughs> anyway, lovely to uh, see you all, and thank you for joining us. See you again next week.